Ladies and gentlemen, I am here, I am here, and I am here, I am going to talk about the All-Star Game, the Major League All-Star Game we saw tonight. Um, you know, for the first, oh, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, I don't tell someone what's happening. I continue to have this problem with the, the, with the thing. Oh, every, almost every video, I have this problem. Damn it, where the hell is this shit? Okay, here we go. Okay, I think I'm back on the air. I think I'm, oh, excuse me, I think I'm back on the air, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, yes, I'm going to talk about the Major League All-Star game that, that, that took place tonight from, in Miami. All right, so these games from, I believe, 2003 all the way to last year, for the last 13 years, excuse me, excuse me, um, I apologize, um, for the last 13 years, the winner either the American League or the National League got home field advantage in the World Series. So whoever won this game, their um so whoever was representing the American League and the if the American League won, whoever was representing them in the World Series, um like if they if it was the Yankees versus the Mets and the AL won, then the Yankees would get home field advantage. So if there was a game one, game one, two Game one, one, two, and five, one, two, five, and seven. You would get the important ones, you know, especially game one and game seven. So now, um, this is the first time since two thousand and two they are not doing that. They are going back to it's like um, it's like um, basketball now. It doesn't matter; it's just for fun. Um, they're just doing it just to, for an, for just to just to play. Um, so I was wondering how it was going to be tonight. If they were actually going to try, maybe try to do some stupid stuff, you know, try to put on the show or something for the fans. But no, it actually felt like a real game. It's kind of boring, actually, because it was only 2-1. Um, for the longest time, the game was scoreless. Then around the fifth inning, they started scoring. And then it was 1-1 for about for a while. And then it actually went to extra innings in the 10th inning. And um, Robinson Cano, um, the 10th inning, had the home run, the winning home run. And they ended up in the AL ended up winning this game 2-1. Um... You know, I, I was I, I was wondering what to expect. You know, um, with the um, with the for the first time and um, since two thousand and two, it was going to be the first game with um, with just did not matter, just play for fun, like a preseason game. Um, so I was wondering how it's going to be. At least it was good. The, the game was not to me. The game was kind of boring. You know, very low scoring, um, two one. I'm, I I like high scoring games, um, but whatever. Um, you know, with, with all that pitch, usually, you know, they, you know, if you're gonna good, if you're gonna put a good pitch with good uh, um, batters, it's still the good pitchers can always win most of the time. Um, that's what always wins championships. So, you know, that's what you know. We saw it here tonight. The the best hitters in the world, and they and they only combine for a two one score. So that just tells you that pitching is what wins you games and what wins you championships. Um, good game, you know. Um, the MVP ended up being Cano, Robinson Cano for winning the game, and um, two one. Um, like I said, a little bit kind of. What was it? Three hours? It wasn't that long. R normal baseball game, you know. Baseball games are usually about three hours. Um, if I, you know, I do. I, I I I thought it was gonna be a little bit more um scoring, but um maybe next year I'll be. I, I think in maybe in the future they'll do a little bit more offense. Excuse me, they'll do a little bit more entertainment. I don't know. I'm interested to see because I believe that was the problem why they made the decision to make it a a meaningful game because a lot of guys were not trying. So I'm interested to see in the next few years. This this is the first time and like I said a long time that the game did not matter. So a lot of guys are still used to the game actually mattering. And actually, to playing good, but maybe in two, maybe in two years, I don't know. Maybe next year, they'll maybe start to just play and not even care. You know, I'm interested to see maybe just start swinging at everything. You know, maybe have a lot of airs on defense, dropping a lot of balls. I don't know. I feel like working that that will happen in the future. I don't know. I feel like this was the first game, so I feel the guys are still kind of used to having to try. But uh, maybe in the next few years, some we'll see some like. Guys dropping balls. We'll see everybody swinging at everything. You know, like in basketball where nobody really plays defense and you get these 
what is it, 109 to 170 scores. So that's what I that's what I want to see in the future. If they're going to continue the way they played tonight, or in the future they're just not going to care and everyone's going to be dropping balls, throwing to the wrong bases, um, throwing over the guy's head, um, better swinging at everything, you know, and not even caring. That is what I am wondering in the long in the long in the long time. Will this work out where they'll be played the right way like tonight? Or will in the future guys might not care? It doesn't matter. And they may just not they may just not try. So that is what I want to see, but that's gonna take a while. I feel like this year was the first time, like I said, for most of these guys playing the game that not that not even matter. I don't think nobody's even maybe Yadier Molina. Other than that, everybody else has been playing the entire careers with this game actually meaning something. So maybe in a, in a, in a few years, after you know they get used to it, maybe they all stop seeing people trying. That is what I want to see in the, in, in the long haul. Anyway, the American League wins it. They won, I believe, the last five or whatever. They, they usually win these games. I don't know why, but they just seem to always win them. Um, I guess it's because they say the American League has, more, has better offense, but... You know, in this game, it was pretty similar. You know, 2-1. Most of the thing was dominated by the pitching. Um, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have to say. Um, let's hope this video does good. Last video had, like, 39 views. Verse, that's, a, that's the video that did the most for me in a long time. So I'm very happy. And until next time, I will catch your ass down the road. What is happening? the hell is happening? What? Am I still on the air? All right. Hi, I'm sorry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. This video should be over. I know what the hell's happening. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. The video should be over right now. I don't know what the hell's happening. Why can't I get out of here?